Okay, in this video auto recording, I want to talk about the rapture. You know, it amazes me so much to see some saints out there, those that profess believe in the Most High and His Son, still believe in some kind of rapture in these end times where individuals will be taken out of the earth before all hell breaks loose. I guess they haven't read some of the extra biblical sources that were once part of the Bible back in the day until they were removed for whatever reason. If you're trying to figure out what the Bible says regarding the rapture based on the 66 book canon alone, then you're going to have a hard time deciphering the truth about the rapture, okay? I mean, that should give you a clue that something is up with the Bible. Six six books all that's missing is a six and you got your triple six so there's some type of agenda to distort the word whereby you won't have the proper information to overcome in these end times so this is where I come in okay all right we know that the book of Enoch is quoted in the epistle of Jude all right Jude quotes the book of Enoch and it mentions Enoch, the prophet, being the seventh from Adam. And it says that he prophesied, meaning what? That he was a prophet. So giving legitimacy to the book of the prophet Enoch. It was part of the Bible from way back in the day, thousands of years ago. Probably hundreds of years ago, too. And not only that, but you can also look at the Apocrypha. That was part of the original 1611 King James Bible. And it'll show you in the book of Second Estrus that there is no rapture. Okay? And yes, uh, it was removed from the King James Bible, the Apocrypha, because some people deemed it uninspired. But why would you deem something uninspired if it was part of an original work? I mean, to me, that tells me they didn't want you knowing this information. I mean, once you start taking stuff out and discrediting it, then you got to give a reason why. Who are they to tell us what we can read or what we shouldn't read? So anyways, yeah, in Enoch, the very first verse, as soon as you start reading the book of Enoch, it tells you that it is the wicked and godless that will be removed in the days of tribulation, not the righteous. So bang, right there. Rapture theory destroyed completely. If you're not convinced, if you need a second witness, read Second Estrus. It's in the Apocrypha. It tells you that those that are left behind are more blessed than those that are dead, meaning those that are taken out are those that are dead, that are killed. So to be left behind is a good thing. So there it is right there. It's all there. And if you don't believe this, then I guess you don't believe what it says in Jude. Enoch being a prophet. I guess you don't believe that Jude is quoting Enoch, even though it's right there. Right? It says in the book of Enoch, as well as in the epistle of Jude, that the Lord will come with his saints, with ten thousands and ten thousands or something like that, of his saints to execute judgment upon all the ungodly. Of all their works and their hard words and all that stuff. And like I said, uh, the Apocrypha was part of the original 1611 King James Bible. And yeah, you can't separate something from the Bible if it was there originally. If you do that, then you're taking a big chunk of some of the parts in the Bible. And yeah, and even the Book of Daniel... It had like, was it two, three chapters removed from it? Yeah. So you can find those chapters in the in the Apocrypha. But they're titled differently. Uh, so what does that tell you? I mean, come on. If you think the Bible is perfect, then you're sadly mistaken. The Bible is enough to get you through, but it's very difficult to understand it without these other extra biblical sources. Uh, these Apocryphal, Pseudepigraphal. Extra canonical and extra biblical texts. 
So if you think you're, you know, you're smart, super wise and intelligent, then hey, try to decipher the Bible by itself without the help of these other tools that we got at our disposal. I'm just telling you. But anyways, yeah, there is no rapture. There it is. Take the verses for what they're worth, all right? So I've done my job presenting you the truth. Now, what you do with this truth, however you cement it in your mind, that's on you. Whether you want to reject this seed of truth that I'm planting in you or whether you want to toss it out. All right? So with that being said, I'm out.